they go on the basis of is is something actually interfering with your daily life okay that's what they want to say that classifies as a mental disorder or not now most people have caffeine all the time 80 to 90 percent of americans drink caffeine in some form or another tea or coffee or these energy drinks and i think that's actually the the thing that's scared a lot of people these kids are taking huge amounts of energy drinks and they and they have the equivalent of many many cups of coffee so you can't overdose but you could you could certainly uh build up a, a tolerance and then the withdrawal would be much stronger i'm okay with including it as a mental disorder because i think there are some people when they have to withdraw from caffeine they actually can't function <laughs> the headaches are so bad they become irritable they uh they get constipated <laughs> that's one of the things that happens and it's very hard for them to function but uh, I think for most people, that would not be true. I don't think people drink that much coffee. I work with uh, an area of the brain called the pituitary, and a lot of pituitary hormones are uh, actually controlled by the brain. And uh, the, um, the effect of caffeine is actually on adenosine receptors. Adenosine is something that is produced by activity by many uh, areas of the brain. There are a, a specific kind of receptor for the adenosine that builds up. And caffeine at low levels blocks that receptor. It's called the A1 receptor. Okay? And what the uh, adenosine does through that receptor is it inhibits release of transmitter. So it inhibits activity throughout the brain and the spinal cord, actually. And... Um, when you withdraw caffeine, that, that's the controversy. Um, then there's going to be more uh, adenosine than normal. Okay? And adenosine does a number of things. One of them is it, it uh, allows more blood flow through the brain. So the idea is if it's too much blood flow through the brain, it's like a migraine headache. And a lot of the symptoms are like migraine headache symptoms.